and today I'm going to tell you what's in my car. Years ago, uh, well not years ago, but last year, the year before, I don't know when it was, I did a video called what's in my purse and I showed you all of the stuff that I carry around with me on a daily basis. So today I thought it might be fun to show you the stuff that I carry around in my car on a daily basis. And of course this would not be a Books for MK's video unless there were books in the car. So I can certainly promise you that there are books in this car. What I want to start with though is actually one of the most sentimentally significant objects in this car and that is this little guy right here. When I first learned how to drive, I bought this because on it, it says courage. Let me see if I can get that to where you guys can see it. It's a little ring. I've never actually worn it as a ring. It's just, you know, a little doodad hanging on the rear view mirror here. This is important to me though, because when I first learned to drive, I was terrified. Um, the year before, a best friend of mine had died in a car crash and I was just absolutely terrified to get into a car. I mean, just like white knuckled. And so I got this little ring to remind me where does courage come from? Courage comes from God. And I just had to trust that God would keep me safe on the road. And he always has. Every car that I've ever had, I have had this hanging off of the rear view mirror. And, um... It always reminds me where true courage comes from. And I also have this little guy hanging here. This is one of those things that you can use to um, break the window, you know, if you are trapped in your car. There's a lot of water around where I live, like a lot. There's a lot of rivers and lakes and stuff. And so, you know, if you were in a car wreck and you're car ended up in the water that's a very real possibility around where I live so I have this thing it has a seat belt cutter so you could cut your seat belt and you could break the window and be able to get out of the car if your car was submerged underwater so two very important doodads here hanging from my rear view mirror all right so let's dive into the rest of the car over in the passenger doorway we have a spare umbrella and an emergency Bible. So this Bible is a KGV Bible. Um, it's just one of these tiny little like pocket editions, you know, and it's just in here just in case I forgot to bring my Bible to church or in case I was out somewhere and suddenly had some kind of spiritual crisis <laughs> and needed to like read a Psalm to calm me down or something. Always good to have an emergency Bible just in case. And I have my sunshade to put up on the windshield um, because it does get very hot here in the southeastern United States. And these things really do help to keep the inside of your car at least 10 or 15 degrees cooler in the summer. I also always, always keep this jacket in the car. This jacket pretty much just stays in here um, because you never know when you're gonna be going into a building somewhere and it'll be freezing inside. I'm very cold natured, so. I get really cold. And let's dive into the glove box. We have a charger. We have the box for the charger. My uh, manual and registration. A map, that is right people, a map of Georgia. Even though I have never used this, never, because I always have GPS, I always think, what if, you know, what if my phone died? Well, you have a charger. Well, what if there was no service? I don't know. What if the world blows up and there's no GPS and all the satellites are down? I am not going to get lost. <laughs> I'm a child of the 80s. We didn't have GPS back then. And I just feel a little bit safer having a map around. Okay, then we have various more chargers and an audio cable and what I affectionately refer to as the barf bag. Okay, so I do not get car sick, but you just never know when you might have a passenger and somebody would get car sick. You just never know when you might need a plastic baggie for something or other. And now we finally get to the books. Those will be in the back seat. So back here, we have a booster seat that I recently bought for my little niece so I could take her on car rides. Okay, let's grab some of this stuff. So I have my summer hat, 
very lovely. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell by how pale I am, I do not like going out in the sun. I just burn. I don't tan. I just burn. So I have my floppy hat in case I have to go out in the sun. I also keep a gift bag and tissue paper just in case I ever have to give someone a gift or I'm going to an event and I think, oh no, I forgot the gift. So this is the emergency gift bag that stays in the car at all times. I know, I'm ridiculously overprepared. <laughs> it's just that's happened to me before. I didn't have a gift bag, so now I have a gift bag and mountains of tissue paper. <laughs> I also have back there a random tote bag because you never know when you might need a random tote bag. And the books. So these two are books that I'm giving to my sister-in-law. That's why they're here in the car. So I already have them ready the next time that I see her. This is Unplugged Play for Toddlers and Curly Kids. So these are kind of like parenting help uh, for how to style your child's hair and for, you know, just playtime for little children. So it has all these cute little ideas of, you know, playing and games and different stuff for toddlers. And I always have at least two or three books in the car for my nieces, either ones that I'm planning on giving to them or ones that I just keep in the car for, you know, if they're ever, uh, if I'm ever taking them somewhere or they're in the car, they have a little something to read. I also have my Publix bags for when I go to the grocery store. And that way I don't have to use plastic bags. I have reusable bags that I can use. And then over in the driver's side door, I have a few CDs. So the CDs are probably like the only CDs I own. Uh, there's five of them. A few years ago, I got rid of most of my CDs and put everything onto my MP3 player. And so these CDs are pretty much it. I only kept a few. But I figured if my MP3 player, the battery dies, or there's nothing good on the radio, then I have something to listen to. So these are Harry Connick Jr. songs I heard. And then the wonderful, the incomparable Billie Holiday. I adore Billie Holiday and these are some of her best songs. Another Harry Connick Jr. because I guess I'm a fan. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really thought of myself as a fan. But I love old songs, right? I love these old timey songs and so hence another Harry Connick Jr. And again with the old songs, Michael Buble and Nora Jones. So all of these are very old timey songs, whether done by newer people or whether done by the old timey people. Um, but uh, you can definitely tell my taste in music from that. <laughs> and that is pretty much it. That, uh, those are the things that I keep in my car. I'm sure this is probably the most boring video I've ever made, but I hope that maybe it was, I don't know, somewhat interesting for you. It, sometimes it's just kind of fun to see what other people keep in their purse or their car or, you know, a slice of life, I guess, or something. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.